I'm Jan. Today I'm going to show you how to knit a yarn over. Why do you do a yarn over? Yarn over is an increase or when paired with a knit two together or a decrease, it makes a hole like a lace or a decorative space or even a small little buttonhole. Knit two stitches, wrap the yarn around the needle, knit the next stitch, knit another stitch, wrap the yarn around the needle without putting it into the stitch, then knit the next stitch. You've done a yarn over the needle, you've created a hole, and that's an increase. Yarn over is a term you'll see often in your knitting patterns. It's usually abbreviated Y-O, Yo, and it's often paired together with K2TOG, togs. People ask, what are these yos and togs I see knit on through all my patterns? It's a yarn over and a knit two together. Creates a hole, a decorative item, um, works with lace, makes a buttonhole, just something that you should have in your knitting repertoire. Then when you come back to your yarn over, you don't drop it off the needle. It's a stitch that you should have on your needle. So don't drop it off, just knit the yarn over like you would any other stitch. I'm going to show you how to do a yarn over using the continental knitting method. It's a very simple stitch. You never do it at the very beginning or the very end of a row, so I'm going to knit two stitches. To do the yarn over, I'm simply going to grab the yarn over the needle without putting it into the stitch and then knit the next stitch. I'm going to knit one more and do another yarn over. Grab the yarn without putting it into the stitch, and then knit the next stitch. I'm Jan at the Yarn Company in Palm Desert, and that's how to knit yarn overs.